Alrighty, welcome sixth graders. Uh, I know it's been quite a while uh, since we last um, talked about, uh, or since we last done a podcast. Uh, so we're going to hopefully um, get more of these in um, to just to kind of help with some misconceptions and, and help um, with some more learning. All right. Uh, so um, again, we're focusing on East Asia. All right. And specifically by this map, you should be able to tell that we'll be focusing on uh, just the physical geography uh, at first. Okay. Um, so we're going to start with some areas, all right? And the first is um, we're going to start with the mountains, all right? And the mountains are over here located in, sorry. All right, so over here, um, the mountains, again, if we look at our elevation, mountains are more of this purple and brown area, all right? And so they... Um, the biggest area of mountains is over here, all right, in China, okay, and it's part of the Himalayan mountain range, all right, huge mountain range. The highest points in East Asia, um, we should all know Mount Everest, all right, and then also over here in uh, Japan is Mount Fuji, okay. So, you know, mountains, not a lot can grow there. Uh, it's and it's really inhabitable if we can think back to our population density map not a lot of people live there um, just not really a great place to live and another speaking of great places not to live there's the deserts right and so we've got the gobi desert which is in part of china and also part of mongolia um, and then the takliman desert as well okay and so these areas are hot they're dry they're arid so not a lot of farming can go there so if you can recall you know, from our population density map that we had before, um, you know, most of the people that live in China and East Asia all live towards the coasts, right? They all mainly live, if we did, were to draw a line, most of them would live in this direction, okay? All right, um, so with that being said, um, other couple things that we need to focus on here are what makes places habitable, all right? Instead of inhabitable, what makes them habitable, all right? Where people could live. Um, we've got plains, all right? And so um, we've got the North China Plain and then the Manchurian Plain as well. So in these plains, this is flat level ground, all right? Notice it's green, so it means it's, it's low and it also means that it's fertile. Okay, um, which is great for farming. Um, the other, another physical, another part of physical geography um, that we need to understand are the rivers. All right, the two major rivers in China or in East Asia are the Huang River, which is located here. So if we take our Mark, if I take my marker and trace over it, all right, um, it comes up and empties out here. And then the Chang River, all right, which is located down here in the Sichuan province, all right, again, starts way up here in the plateau of Tibet in the highlands area. It comes down through the mountains, through some deserty area, um, and then empties out. All right, actually, it's not deserty up there, it's just higher in elevation. All right. So, again, and and what if if you can recall from our population density map, these are where most of the larger cities are located. This is where the first people settled. All right. So, what I would like you to do is answer the question um, that is below, and we will continue to discuss more about how the physical geography has impacted um, the settlement uh, of this area. Have a great day. Bye.